Are you serious? I just bought it. I'm not gonna lie. I think these tests are becoming too extreme. All right, so on this week's Battle of the Brushless, what we are gonna do is we are gonna do Craftsman versus Ryobi. Now, both of these are brushless impact drivers, and I just got the four amp hour for the Craftsman, so I'm actually excited to see how it works with the four amp hour battery, because I did do an unboxing of this to see how it is with the two amp hour battery. I'll put that right here. And so, yeah, I'm actually here. I haven't used this Ryobi in a while, because I've been concentrating on hammer drills and saws, so it is time to use the Ryobi brushless uh, impact driver. We're just gonna go through the specs really quick and uh, seeing how well these do against each other. Now, I do not know who's gonna win because I've never used the Craftsman with the four amp hour battery, so I have no clue. So this is gonna be a good one, and yeah, so stay tuned. All right, so for the Craftsman, this is made in the USA with Global Materials, and this is a brushless motor. This motor has three speed settings. This is not the, this is not the variable trigger only. It has speed one, two, and three. All right, so we will be using a, uh, a four amp hour battery. The battery is full. And the model number for this is CMC F820, a quarter inch hex collet, 20 volt system, but really it's 18 volt under a load. So the impacts per minute is uh, on speed three is 3,800. The RPM on speed one is zero to 1,300. On speed two, zero to 2,600. And on speed three, zero, zero to 2,900. There's a tri-LED beam on the front. And yeah, the, the front does have a nice rubber, uh, rubber molding. So in case if you miss your target, it'll go against the rubber molding and take the shock. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the Craftsman. Red, it's signature red and black. So for the Ryobi, now the Ryobi is a three speed selection as well. It has speed one, speed two, and speed three. Uh, this does have the old school magnet on the, on the base and it also has a bit holder and a tri-LED beam on the front. Quarter inch hex collet. Uh, this is model number P238. This goes to zero to 4,000 impacts per minute. It only, for this, it only gives the specs on speed three and it goes to zero to 3,200 RPM. And that is actually 300 RPM more than the Craftsman. And so, yeah, but brushless motor, this does work with the HP system. We are using a four amp hour HP battery with this. Battery is full. All right, so that's it for the specs. Let's see how well these do against each other. All right, so remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All righty, so let's do one timber lock each. We're just gonna do one timber lock and one specs. I love my Milwaukee Packout system, you guys. When it comes to tool storage, that this Packout system is amazing. Sorry, DeWalt fans, but the Tough system doesn't even compare to the Packout system. That Packout system is amazing. Uh, we'll do the Ryobi first. Battery is full. Is it quick insert? Yes, it is. The Ryobi is a quick insert collet. We are gonna do SPACs first. Just one SPAC each. We are gonna use this area in this test because this area is a dense area. I've actually been saving this for, for certain tools. So I wanna, I wanna put these tools through the ex, extra stress by having dense area right here. So we are gonna keep this even. All right, so right here is good. Go up a little bit. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Now I will admit that uh, the impacts, the anvil actually needed for that was actually majorly delayed, which is a good thing. That means that the motor had the power to drive it in about halfway before the anvil was needed. So let's see what the craftsman can do with, uh, with the same thing. Let's see how soon the anvils, uh, the anvil starts hitting the hammer. All right, so ready? Testing, you sound good? Go. Ah. Time. Now let's take it out for the Ryobi. Ready? Oh, yeah. Ready? Go.
Then I want to take it out for the Craftsman. All right, so ready? Go. Time. I do not know what the test results are. I find that out while I edit the video. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the, I forget, I'm not sure if I did it. Is the Craftsman quick insert? Yes, it is. Cap, Craftsman is quick insert collet as well. All right, let's do just two tip, one timber lock each. Do it right here. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Let's do oh, like a natural habit. I do that when I don't need to. All right, let's do the craftsman next. Right here is good. I will say this, the Craftsman is a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter than the, than the Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do gotta get a scale, you guys. I do gotta get a scale. All right, so let's take the Ryobis out. Ready? Time. Take the craftsman's out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Oh, I gotta add a little time, sorry. That was not ready to be taken out yet. Alrighty, it is time for the 19 mil. I'm not, we're gonna continue. I'm not sure if that is skipping because it does look stripped a little bit, so I, it might be that. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's skipping. I think I ruined that, that bit. So already, so these four holes I'm redoing because the, the quarter inch to half inch was stripped from a previous test. So I'm gonna declare that bad. So I got two new ones. I got Makita and I got Milwaukee. They're both the same. This one has three bars, uh, but it has a four bar display. This one has three bars. So they're, they're about the same. They are about the same still, but we are gonna start over when it comes to the lags. So yeah, cause I don't trust those. The, I, don't, I don't trust that test result because like I said, it's stripped. So we are gonna do this Rotate this a little bit. We'll do it right here. All right, so let's continue. All right, so ready? Go. Smidge more. Time. That is the Ryobi. Let's do the Craftsman. Four inch leg. Do it right here. All right, so ready? Go. And like I say in every video, I do not know what the test results are until I actually edit the video. That is the four inch. Let's do the six inch next. All right, so ready, go. A little bit more. Time. 
That did it. All right, let's do the Craftsman next, the six inch. Do it right here. Speed three. All right, so ready, go. That time, 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 time. Now I it might be because of the area, but that the Craftsman seemed like it did a little bit better on the six inch than the Ryobi did. Can I fit two of these here? Yes, I can. All right, so next we are going to do the five eighths inch, eight inch, five eighths inch by eight inch leg. Do the Ryobi first. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. And that is where the Ryobi stops. Yep, the Ryobi can't do any more. So we are gonna measure that. First, let's take a temperature reading because that worked hard. 99, 93, 119 degrees, the Ryobi got. 124, 124 degrees. Let's see if Craftsman is up to the task. Ryobi failed the 5.8 by eight inch. That's a hard task. Let's see if the Craftsman is willing to uh, give it a shot. All right, so ready, go. All right, that is where Craftsman stops. Let's see if, let's see what that is at. All right, so Ryobi is at a half inch and Craftsman is at a half inch, then Craftsman is at three eighths of an inch. Alrighty, so I'm actually curious if either of these can take that out. Let's, let's give it a shot. Yes, it can. All right, let's see if Ryobi can take its out. Let's see. Cheers. Nope, Ryobi cannot take his out. Give it one more shot. Nope, it cannot. Let's see if Craftsman can take it out. Are you serious? I just bought it. I just, see, what's happening is my tests, I think my tests are becoming too extreme for these tools. I'm not gonna lie. I think these tests are becoming too extreme. 114, 109. 119, 128 degrees, 128 degrees. And the Ryobi is 130, I saw 134, 138, 100 and, son of a gun. 138, but 136. 
136 degrees. Alrighty, so that sucks. At least I was smart and I bought two of them. All right, lesson learned. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. These tests are becoming too extreme. We'll say we'll use an impact wrench to take that out. This is why you. This is why they have impact wrenches. So let's go back to the 19 millimeter with the brand new MILF Makita. God, I'm really disappointed with that, seriously. All right, so Ryobi is gonna take out a four and a six and Craftsman is gonna take out a four and a six. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Battery is at two bars for the Ryobi and the battery is at two bars for the Craftsman, uh, Craftsman which four bar system, three bar system, so they're about the same. Ready? Go. Let's move on to the six. Ready? Go. Time. Alrighty, so let's take out the four and the six for the craftsman. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Six is next. Ready? Four. Continue. Time. Oh, man. All right, I want to do one more test. All right, so for the last test, what I want to try it out is I want to see how, how well these do with the one and a quarter inch speed bore. I'm just curious. Let's see what these do against each other. There we go. All right, so ready, go. Time at the... Impact driver did release the collet. Battery is at two bars still. Hmm, seems a little loose. Ready, go. Time. This didn't release the bit. That's good. All right, so I'm not sure which one won on that. They, they seem pretty even when it comes to uh, the tasks that they were given. Only the editing of the video would tell when it comes down to the tenth of a second. And so, yeah, but both things seem pretty good. I am majorly disappointed with the Ryobi that, ooh, that is hot. Yeah, same thing with the Hilt, uh, the Craftsman. Yeah, they're both, they're both still up there. So both of them are hot still. So that's actually not that good for when it comes to the tasks that they give. And they, they shouldn't be this hot. They're both hot, though. Uh, but yeah, but both of them did, I guess, okay. The, and the one thing that I am not happy with the Craftsman, uh, I can see oil at the, I can see oil or at, behind, right behind the collet. I do not see oil uh, at the Ryobi, but the Ryobi did let go of the bit, which that's not good. Uh, you never want the bit to come out of the collet uh, when it's locked into place. So it's, it's it's just not good, but I am disappointed that grease is coming out of the craftsman a little bit. So yeah, so like I, I I'm not gonna lie, I don't really have that much to say against these two because I it, it's where it's way too close to tell to see on who actually won. I will say both of these impact drivers are loud. They're really loud. All right, so in overall, I believe that both of these are equally matched. Uh, I do not know what the exact times are, but I feel that these two are equally matched. All right, now this is this is Craftsman's best impact driver and this is Ryobi's best impact driver, which uh, that log got a little dense in that, uh, in those areas. So because it was, I could tell that in previous videos, it was softer towards the middle area, but it was pretty dense around that ring. I really don't recommend a tool if they're this close to each other, like in this situation, it would be either or, or what battery system you're already in. Now, I only recommend tools if there's a huge difference between the between the two tools. 
But yeah, but th this one's too close to tell. This one it would be a, a preference, uh, whatever battery platform you're uh, already a part of. So. So that's pretty much it. I thank you guys so much for tuning in and please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.